Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Shell Black Whiteboard where we help you get the most out of the Salesforce platform. I'm Shell Black, your host, president and founder of shellblack.com and Salesforce MVP. The subject for this episode is quotes or quoting. It's a, it's a presentation layer of opportunities, so let's get into it and talk a little bit more about that. So what, why use quotes? So what happens when you have an opportunity, people want to see options. They might say, yeah, I'm interested in this, but show it to me maybe if I buy the extended warranty, show it to me if I do the on-site training. What are my options? Show me some choices. So quotes is really a presentation layer of opportunities and opportunity products. And why a presentation layer, I mean you can create a PDF that's very nice and formatted, and there's a template, kind of like a page layout editor that we'll cover in a different segment of how you can organize the information uh, to present back to your client. You can then create the PDF. You can save as an attachment against the quote. You can email it to your contact straight from the quote. It's also auto-numbered. It's a read-only field. It auto-generates a number every time you create a quote, kind of like cases auto-generates a case number. And this is really helpful if you're sending lots of quotes back and forth and someone says, yeah, I'm ready to buy. You can ask the question, which quote are we talking about, 237 or 238? We've had a couple of versions go back and forth. You can keep old versions of your quotes that you've PDF'd as attachments against the quote module. A little abstract, I'm going to slide to this side of the board and I'm going to give you maybe a visual representation of why quotes might be advantageous to your sales organization. So our little blue coin icon represents our opportunity in our org. It's attached to a company. And so from there, I've got quote one and quote two. Quote one has three products, one product at $100,000, one at $10,000, one at $20,000. You add all three products together, that quote is for $130,000. Quote two only has product one for $100,000 and product two for $10,000. So this quote is $110,000. So again, going back to our choices and options that we're giving our client, they might say, yeah, I'm going to buy from you, but show it to me two different ways. So we've got quote one at $130,000, quote two at $110,000. At some point, you want to sync the quote. And what syncing does, it's a checkbox on the quote, and if you check that, so this one's not checked, this one is checked, the products that you've associated to that quote become the products that are associated to the opportunity. They're only going to buy one option. So instead of this being, say, a $240,000 opportunity, they're not going to buy both. They're going to buy one or the other. So we, we've got to tell the database, what do you want to reflect on an opportunity for our pipeline reporting. Do we want to reflect two opportunities? They're going to buy this and this? No. They're going to buy either or. So by syncing the, the quote to the opportunity by checking this box, these are now in sync. So if I make a change, say, to product three, that will make a change to product three as an opportunity product and, and update my amount here. So any changes I do here will be reflected here. And actually, conversely, if I update the products here, that will sync to the quote and also change my products here. So I've changed quantity, the amount, add more products. These, these stay in sync. So I don't have to do double entry. So that's what syncing is trying to do is help you to do a lot of uh, double entry on, on the numbers. OK, going to slide back to the side of the board here. Let's go through some of the standard fields for a moment. So when you create a quote, it's a record in the database. You have a quote name, free form text, kind of like your opportunity name. We already talked about it, that it will be auto-numbered. There's an expiration date field. It's a date field. And I think the intent of this is this quote's good for so many days. And so you put a date out there, kind of give your customer a nudge to make a decision. The syncing checkbox we just talked about keeps your products, your amount, and your quantities in sync between one quote and your opportunity. There's a status pick list on this. Some people use it. Some people don't. Uh, it, it has some out-of-the-box fields such as draft, in review, approve, presented, rejected. It's a field. You can update the pick list if these, this is supposed to be a life cycle field for, for your, uh, your quote, where it is in the process. You know, it's been presented, it's been approved by management, it's been sent to my customer, just so you can see where they're at if you want to run a report. Description field, just like other description fields and other standard objects, you can just go to town and write a small novel to your heart's content. Contact name. So when you create a quote, if you have a contact role that has the primary checkbox checked, that automatically fills in this lookup field. So this is a lookup field to the contact object. If you, ha if you, if you have this field populated, it drives and pre-populates some other fields on the quote, such as email, phone number, and fax. It basically looks over to that contact in the database, 
grabs those fields and presents them back on the quote records. Again, so you don't have to do the double entry. Same thing, there's, if, when you kick off a quote, as long as you're, you know, a quote is associated to an, uh, an opportunity which is associated to an account, as long as the account has the address fields in for bill to and ship to, those fields will auto fill in and auto populate on the quote because it's associated to it already. Okay, so those are kind of the standard fields. I'm gonna hit maybe a couple of uh, potential custom fields. It's got page layouts, it's a standard object, it's, it's got record types, you can do custom fields. So maybe some custom fields for you to think about how, how you might use quotes for your organization. You might have a custom pick list for shipping location. This is gonna come out of the Dallas warehouse, this is shipping out of the New Orleans warehouse. Lead time, two weeks, three weeks, give the client an idea of fulfillment time. Maybe a ship via pick list. Does it, is it shipping by air? Is it by ground? Is it by carrier or courier? Uh, terms, pick list, net 30, net 15. Maybe you want to have uh, a, a custom field that talks about the warranty, um, as is 30 days, one year, whatever it might be. So custom fields, again, it's a, you can add this to quotes. It's a standard object. Last thing I want to run through is products and how you, do, how you input pricing on products and how that drives a subtotal section or a total section on the quote because all these fields can then be put on a PDF and presented back to your client. As you're adding products to a quote, you have a list price, which is kind of the default standard price of your product, a sales price, which you can enter up or down, change the price if you want to sell it for higher or less, a quantity, a subtotal, the subtotal is just the sales price times the quantity is your subtotal. With quotes, you have a discount field. That's a little unique. So when you're ending a, a, a quote line item product, you have the option of putting in a, a percent discount. Uh, so in this product, we have $1,000, we gave it a 5% discount. So the total price is $950. Product two, list price 100, we sold it for 100. We didn't, didn't change that price. Uh, quantity of 10, so we have a subtotal of 1,000. No discount, so we, we've got the full $1,000 here. When you add up all the total prices, that's gonna start to show up here. So subtotal is coming from this column before discounts. Discount, we put 5% here, we did put a discount here. So our, our discount here is a weighted discount across all products. So I was trying to do some easy math here, but even though I put a 5% discount, the whole quote, if you weight all the products here, it's a 2.5% discount. So our total price, this column all added up together, it's 1,950. You've got two extra dollar fields on a quote. They're free form, they don't calculate. So tax is not going somewhere and calculating. Shipping is not going somewhere and calculating. I guess you could with some custom code. So I put a little blue asterisk next to those two fields because we're literally just gonna hand key those in. These are calculated. These are hand entered. So our, we, I just threw tax in for $100. I know that's not right. Shipping, $50. So our grand total is our total price plus tax plus shipping is our grand total on our quote. I'd like to thank you for tuning in. If you have any feedback on how we're doing, please let us know. You can hit us a couple of ways. You can reach out to me on Twitter. I'm at shell underscore black, or you can email us if you want to send us some feedback, whiteboard at shellblack.com. Thanks for joining in. I hope you enjoyed that segment on quotes. We'll talk to you again soon.